listen to Tom, listen to Tom, listen to Tom. Anybody out here that is going through a situation where somebody's holding you back, just bounce. I just don't understand why women do this. Do which? Want to hold a guy hostage. I just hate the fact that you're spewing forth your nonsense over the airways and that my son is addicted to you. Hey, listen, I'm a special needs um, kindergarten teacher. Uh-huh. <laughs> Darling, if you have special needs, I'll be right over. Because <laughs> I've got a special weapon. I would like to let your audience know, Father Knows Best. I've been an avid listener for the last two years. I regard myself as a gentleman, and I like the way you operate. Now I'm going to try and live my life by your mantra. You put up with these people on a day in and day out basis, and they just won't quit on you. They don't get it. They, it's like they don't get the concept that Tom Likas is a genius, you know? You're well-educated. You know what you're talking about, you know? And, and these people just don't get it. Tom, to say I hate you gives you entirely too much credence. That's like saying I hate a handicapped, mentally challenged child, okay? So, I don't so, hate you. So you think I'm a retard? You. you say, you know, you go out and, and you get sex, and I have to pay for it. Yeah, and why, why should we you, have to pay you? You're having dinner with a girl, and you automatically get sex. So what is up with that? Besides that, that just, you know, increases well, I've solved that problem. I have solved the problem. I told the guys don't have dinner with women. That will solve you know, the problem. I'm not going to have dinner taken out for drinks. My son listens to you, and I'll tell you, when I want to get agitated, when I want to rev up for an argument with my husband, I listen to you. And that revs me up, man. I'll tell you what, you get me going. I started banging this chick, and I didn't know at that time that she had uh, mental problems. <laughs> so, and like, you didn't know while well, she had sex with you? Wasn't that a clue? Hey. Hey. I was wondering uh, about your KY jelly. What were you wondering? Well, because I figure you must have a lot of it since you don't like women. Well, darling, that's because I was with your postmenopausal self, and uh, you had needs. I want to thank you for telling all these guys out here what's really going on and how to save them time, money, and trouble. You're absolutely right, and I need to thank you for saving all the souls that I don't even know. Just thank you. Wow. Darling, you have not been spending time studying your competition. There's plenty of it out there, and they're giving it away for free. Ladies, don't give it away for free. I don't care if you're a lady. Just get, get, If you have a vagina <laughs> and it's open all night, I'm in. Uh-uh, something is really wrong with you. So you're going to hop anything that just really got four legs and a vagina, right? And, uh, do you have four legs? Do you know where MySpace is located? Uh, no. Between my left thigh and my right thigh. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tom. You're right. I gotta say thanks because since I've been listening to you for the last couple months, I've made a lot of decisions and changes. But um, I think I need a little bit more advice. Uh, I don't know what you've got there in front of you, but basically, I've got a kid. Um, I'm like Benny Crocker. I've got a whole. Uh, I've got a box of index cards, like little recipe cards here. All right. When you call in, I I just go thumb through these files here and come up with a pre. Uh, Fabricated answer. I mean, for all intensive purposes, I've got everything laid out here. From Dallas, Texas, it's Flash Friday. What the hell is going on here? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Here we are, Dallas, Texas. We are here for our friends at Live 1053. We're here for the big Live 8 event coming up tomorrow. And, uh, of course, we're also going to be uh, out and about uh, all over town. Last night was our first night here. 
We did some cruising and boozing last night. Just had some phenomenal food. Oh, my God. You know, people love to talk about San Francisco or New York or L.A. for great food. We have been to some amazing, amazing restaurants here in Dallas. Just amazing. With great wine lists. Holy cow. How great is that? So uh, I have no idea what kind of trouble we're going to get into this weekend, but uh, Gary and I are here. We got the big limo tonight. Anything can happen. Anything. Now, as I've told you guys, we are following the uh, the footsteps of the radio station here in Dallas, Live 105.3, and you can go to their website, live1053.com, for details about where we might be. Among the things I want to point out to you is uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. local time, that's 2 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be broadcasting from Live 8. We're going to do a two-hour Dallas-only show. Now, we say it's Dallas-only because there's only one radio station that's going to broadcast this show, and that's Live 105.3 tomorrow at 4 p.m., but... You fanatics, you sycophants out there who want to hear everything we do. If you go to live1053.com tomorrow, beginning at uh, 4 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, you can also listen in on our Dallas-only show tomorrow. So uh, go to live103, I'm sorry, live1053.com for details, and uh, you can actually listen to the station tomorrow beginning at 4 Central Time, 4 Dallas Time. And that's 2 L.A. Time and 5 New York Time. Two hours from Live 8, which is the big anniversary celebration for this here station, Live 105.3. And everybody but everybody is going to be at Live 8, hosted by Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy's the host. I see Ron in L.A. all the time. Imagine you go to, <laughs> you go to uh, an event here in Dallas, and there's uh, Ron Jeremy as the host. And also, uh, of course, Bowling for Soup is going to be there, and the comedians Dean Lewis and Justin Foster are going to be there. Cult to Follow is going to be there, and uh, the Russ Martin Show Band. And I, I heard some of the set list for the Russ Martin Show Band tomorrow, and... Uh, I'm going to let you see that for yourself. It is pretty outrageous. So our broadcast is tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. here in Dallas at the Loft at the Palladium. And we are going to be uh, right there with you. You can come down and see us, for God's sake. Come down and watch us do the show. And this one is for Live 105.3. You know what? I don't do windows and I don't do weekends. I don't. But it's live 105.3. So I'll do it this one time. Tomorrow. 4 to 6 p.m. There you go. Flash Friday on the Tom Lycus Show. Of course, there's only three of these left today and then the next two Fridays. The last one is uh, Labor Day weekend. So your chance is to turn on the headlights. See a pair of knockers. Your chances are uh, evaporating. So uh, if you have not turned your headlights on this summer yet, this is the day to get started. Turn them on right now. Turn on the headlights right now. And, ladies, if you see somebody with the headlights on, you know what to do. Show us your cans. Show us your rack. Let's get a look. Let's have some good DFW flashing because we are here. We flash you, ladies. You flash us. We can't make this any easier than that. Wide open telephones on the Tom Lyka Show here. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. The Awatuki suitcase. It just goes on and on. And uh, all the details about Awatuki Sioux and the break of the case, which uh, really that whole thing broke about uh, eight days ago. You can go to our website. BlowMeUpTom.com. By the way, I might tell you another thing on BlowMeUpTom.com that you're going to enjoy. Not making it up. A couple of folks in Gwyneth County, Georgia, they got married at a Waffle House, and we've got their entire 
romantic wedding album, complete with the appropriate romantic music. Family got together at the local Waffle House for a big wedding. Go to blowmeuptom.com and get a look at that. For God's sake. Here's our telephone number, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Giancarlo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm calling now to reassure to a Tom and all those guys out there that are still believing in Girls' Night Out that that is wrong, that is good, that is a huge mistake. So I'm here to reassure that with this story. I go out to a store bar one night. This beautiful blonde, blue-eyed girl come up to me and start, it starts talking to me. By the end of the night, she's in my car. We ended up in my room, which is like about a couple of blocks away from the sports bar. Next day, she called me, and this is what she said. She goes, I have to tell you something. And I said, what's going on? And she said, listen, you know, I'm married. I just wanted to have fun. And I go like, what? You know, for, for once, I don't consent sex with married woman. But that wasn't all. At the end of the conversation, she said, do you mind if I come down uh, your place? Because I think I dropped my ring in your car. How about that? <laughs> How about that, man? Uh, <laughs> First of all, she lied to me. She never told me she's married, and now she's looking for her ring. So what did you tell her? I said, listen, you know, I mean, I don't want to take the ring away. Uh, I, I know now that you're telling me that you're married, I don't know that I want you hanging around my place because I don't want to get into any fight with your man, you know. I, if had I know that you were married, I'd kick you in the butt, you know. I, I would never have anything to do with you. So... <laughs> Uh, you put me in a weird situation. I don't want your ring. I don't want you to come over here. I don't want to see you, so, you know, I don't know what to do, you know. I mean, I guess I can drop it off somewhere and you can pick it up, but I don't want to see you anymore. So, at the end, uh, oh, and, and what happens is this. She used to live in Long Beach, California, and her girls' night out, so-called girls' night out, they always have them in San Fernando Valley, which is like about an hour and a half away. Yeah. So they do that. Why? So they are not going to get caught by their husbands, boyfriends, or whatever, you know, or by any of their friends. And after, um, I guess, she came down like about a month later. I gave her the ring. She came down to the same sport bar, and I just went there, and I said, here's your ring. And she wanted to hang out with me again, and I said, listen, forget it. It's not going to happen. You know, I don't want to get into any fights. And then after that, again, a couple more times, Married women come up to me and they go like, listen, I'm married, but I still want to have fun and my husband is working, blah, blah, blah. I'm 27. I mean, I'm not like a great handsome guy, but, you know, I'm good talking with women. And I just said, no, no to girls' night out. It's not, um, it's not good. It's completely wrong. And if you're doing it and you hadn't, you know, been um, cheated on you yet right now, but you will soon or later you will be another idiot falling into that game. So, Tom, 100% with you. I don't believe in girls' night out. And guys that do that, they will regret it 100%. So keep going, Tom. Thank you very much. John Carlo, thank you very much. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hi here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Mr. Likas? How's that uh, no. Texan tail out there? Are you kidding me? This is some of the hottest tail in America. Some of the hottest tail in the world. Better than in LA? Dallas. Uh, some of it is. I mean, I will tell you, I think LA has the best tail, but I do think that Dallas is a close second and Miami is a close third. I mean, the, the chicks here are super hot. I mean, super hot. Must be time we, for a road trip for me then. We had lunch. I want to tell you, so we had lunch at this place called Bone Daddy's, this barbecue joint. Yeah. And uh, this place has, well, not only amazing barbecue, but the hottest, youngest, I'm talking legal youngest, hottest, youngest waitresses you've ever seen. It is over-the-top great. Wow, barbecue and, uh, and boobs, man. You can't beat that. And a million plasma screens with every great game on television. And um, you know, they don't advertise on our show. We don't get a penny from them. We spend money there when we go. And if you ever come to Dallas, 
you're not already here, you must go there because it's that good. I, I'll remember that, sir. I appreciate it. Well, well, what I was calling about, uh, basically, I've been listening to you for a long time. I think six, maybe seven years. And uh, I, I've i never wanted kids, ever, my whole whole life. I've known I didn't want kids. And just listening to your show and hearing these, uh, these guys who would get suckered into it and whatnot, I went out and I got a vasectomy. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not going to be... And I can only imagine where my life would be right now had I not gotten a vasectomy. Now, you don't tell the the girls you have one, do you? Oh, of course not. No, 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) That would be a fool... No way, no way, that would be foolish. Let those girls who want to take you to the cleaners, (laughs) let them give you something for free, expecting something in return. Dude, I can only imagine if one of them told me they were pregnant. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, my God. Dude, I'd love it. But uh, now, now, like I said, I have tons of respect for you, Tom. Don't take this the wrong way. I have something else I wanted to confront you with. Uh, your whole, I feel like you're an in-the-closet conservative. Why? Because you believe in smaller government, right? Which conservatives say they believe it, but they really don't. Well, no, 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 no. That's true. Just, but, but because conservatives don't believe it, that doesn't make it the core value of conservatism, right? I, 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 well, no, I don't agree with that. I, I think that that is just a lie that conservatives tell. Well, you like Ron Paul, right? I'm sorry? You, 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 are, you like Ron Paul, right? No. No, you weren't into Ron Paul? I think, I think he's a loon. Oh, well... Good and he will idea. never be he will never be elected uh, president of anything. The thing is, we have well, you're, you're right about that. But we have presidents out there who, yeah, they don't follow the Republican values and the conservative values. But that doesn't mean that they're changing the conservative values. They still are what they were. Well, I don't know what you mean. Well, it's just because George Bush doesn't believe in republic certain Republican values doesn't mean. Those are that that he's not you know that he's a representative of he did believe me over the last eight years George Bush did not act alone he had uh, complicit cooperation from Congress yeah we are broker than we've ever been as a nation before well that's because George Bush is an idiot but that doesn't no no but 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 but, but it's not just George Bush because uh, uh, George Bush didn't veto any bills to the last year or so. He was sent bills by Congress, wasting money in all 50 states, and he signed off on that waste every time. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I can't argue with you. I mean, you're going to you're gonna pound me no matter what I try to tell you, but I appreciate it, sir. And uh, can you take me out with a shotgun and a, and a uh, Snoop Dogg? Yes, indeed, I can. Bitch. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Galen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Good to talk hey, to you. I know. I got some, uh, I need to know some financial advice from you. So, uh, I have this account through my work, and I have a, close to a quarter million dollars in it. And I'm thinking about uh, taking a loan out against it for, say, 50000 What for? Well, like you just said, the dollar just doesn't buy anything anymore. And what are you I'm, trying to buy? Ah, uh, precious metals. You want to use it for investments? Yes. Kind of hit. Because uh, by the time I retire... Now, what, do you, what is this, a deferred compensation account? That's exactly what it is. Well, don't you understand in most cases you would have to pay tax on that money? No, I'd, pay, I'd have to pay interest on it, but the interest, I'd be paying it back to myself. Only way I'd be t- paying taxes is if I uh, wouldn't didn't pay it back. And while that money is out of your account, uh, whatever it's invested in now, it will not be invested in during that time. And so uh, your money will uh, not be working in that direction. And I might tell you, that over the last couple of weeks, the dollar has gotten stronger for the first time in some time. Uh-huh. Commodities prices have fallen off a cliff, and so have the prices of precious metals such as gold. Do you really think you know what you're doing? Well, that's why I thought I'd call you and get your opinion. Not now, that, you know. that is a very risky strategy. 
And I want to tell you something. Uh, no matter how much I, I think I have a good investment idea, my retirement funds are sacrosanct. I'm sorry, I don't know that what that word means. I don't touch them. Well, I wouldn't be taking the whole thing out. I, w I don't touch $10 of them. Okay. All right. Well, I That's your retirement we're talking about. For an investment strategy, you don't even completely understand yourself. Because you know, if you were going to do this and, and it made sense, you'd have done it three years ago. Yeah. Okay. Right? I wasn't, no, I'm not going to put the whole 50 grand on person. I don't care how much it is. Whatever it is, if, if, if you knew what you were doing, you would have done it three years ago. All right. You are late. Late. Yeah. Could be, maybe a little bit. Not a little bit, very late. When the dollar gets stronger, gold gets weaker. That's how it works. Oh, I know. And you'd be paying interest. To borrow the money. Yeah, I, I just don't... Okay. All right, Tom. Well, thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Some of these guys are just beyond belief. I don't get it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Well, you know, I was I was kind of making a little eye contact uh, coming up the road. You know, just kind of looking over. I said, you know, kind of a flashy car, red eclipse. You know, I flipped my light, turned the radio on, and I'm like, you know what? I'll flip the lights on. It's daytime. Maybe no one will notice, but I did. And um, i got to say, within 45 seconds, uh, the left fun bag just came flying right out. And, uh, That's so. Was she hot? Uh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. Yeah! Flash Friday from Dallas. Here with our friends from Live 1053, the Tom Likey Show. Wide open telephones at 1 800 5800 Tom. This is Sandra on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? No, I, I couldn't really hear you well. I'm sorry. Um, hi, how are you? Hello? Do you like killing time this way? No, um, I said, how are you? Do you care? Um, I guess not. Um, That's why I'm, you're wasting time. Okay, sounds good. Um, no, I've just been hearing your show, and... Um, I just wanted to say, like, pretty much, bottom line, everybody uses each other, you know. No, women don't use more men than men do women. It's equal. And I think it's very sad that men have to tune into your show to make their own, you know, to, um, like, for instance, they can't make their own decisions. They have to tune into your show to know what to do with their own lives. Well, just like some people have tuned into Oprah. Or Dr. Turkey Neck, or one of these people. I mean, uh, everybody has their, uh, they pick their poison. Actually, Tom, I don't watch TV because I think it's stupid. I, well, know, I'm not I talking about you, I'm talking about everyone. Okay. Yeah, but I mean. I don't know you. No, and I don't know you either. Um, but I'm just well, that, saying. Well, then, then so what? I'm just saying it's uh, pretty sad people can't make their own decisions. You know, it's like. If you said it already. Wants, if if somebody doesn't want to have kids, like the guy who's just on the show, he's got a bisectomy or whatever, he's all proud of it. Good for him. A bisectomy? You know, good for him. He can now bone every girl and not get them pregnant. That's good for him. But there are no. He can't get them pregnant. He had a bisectomy, as you said. Well, how do you say? You know what I'm talking about. Well, how can you get someone pregnant if you've had a bisectomy? The guy who was on the show. Right. He's, he's the one who, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Well, guys, okay, well, guys who get fixed for that reason, so they don't get other girls pregnant, you know, I'm just saying that's a personal decision. There are some men in this world right. who do want to have a family, who do want to have uh, a person by their side. I personally, I don't believe in marriage. I think it's overrated, but, you know, it's a personal decision you have to make on your own. You know, if somebody wants to spend the rest of their lives with somebody good, you know, 
but most of the time, it's um, you know, people just get married for the wrong reasons. And well, there yeah. are no good reasons for a man to get married. I think people should just be upfront and honest, you know, and let the other person know what they're looking for, and maybe that person will want the same thing too. You know, you never know. And I'm telling you, there is no good reason for a man to get married. Well, that's just a personal decision they have to make on their own. Well, I mean, I'm trying to help them make it. There is no benefit to getting married if you're a man. Well, I think sometimes there is. I think the only reason no, why... Well, what are the benefits? I think the one reason why people should get married is if they want to start a family. No, but what benefit is there to the man? Um, having a beautiful wife, come home to, kids, a house. You can, you can have someone beautiful come home to without ever getting married. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a personal decision. I mean, you could be with somebody for 10, 20 years and not get married to them and right. be happy. You know? And yes. What I'm saying is, it's, it's you know, it's who cares. It's, you know, everybody uses everybody. Men, women, everybody, you know. It's, it's yes, but if a man doesn't get married, it becomes a lot less likely that he's going to get used. Women use too, though. I mean, I, I don't mean, care. That's how I find that that may be true. But a way for a man to avoid getting used is to not get married. I mean, were you used or something? I mean, Every I, man I know has been used, but the way to eliminate that possibility is not to get married. All right, and that's their own personal decision, you know? It's a personal decision that I believe all men should make. Don't get married. I don't think every woman uses every guy. I don't I care. I There's no benefit to a man to get married. Well, there's a certain feeling that a woman provides to a man. You can um, get that feeling without signing a contract, signing away half of everything you've ever worked for. And that's a personal decision. That's fine. Don't get married. It's a personal person. decision that men should make. Don't get married. Because I think, you know, men and women provide something to each other. They don't have to get married to do that. And that's great. And I think, you know... So there's no benefit to a man to get married, therefore don't get married. Well, yeah. It's a personal decision. Also, I like to bring... Personal decision. Up. Don't get married. Okay. Uh, have you been married? I have. And so you would talk... You're talking out of your own experience, right? So you didn't have... Not just experience. my experience, the experience of everybody I know. No, that's not true. That's not true because... Yes, it is. People, do you know everybody I know? No, I know people... How do you know if it's true? Do you know everybody I know? Um, no, and you don't know... Do you know any? Do you know anybody I know? Do you know anybody I know? I, I never claim to. Does it really matter? You claim to know everybody I know, but you really don't. No, I didn't say that. If I did, that's not what I meant. You, I just told you, uh, everybody I know who's had this experience wishes they had gotten married. Yeah, and there's been some great experiences on getting married and people who love it. And people you could married. just as easily uh, have a relationship, love somebody, have children with them. If you insisted, you could even move in with them without getting married and have the same exact benefits. Yeah, exactly. Signing but, that I, contract provides no benefits to a man. It's, it's whatever works for you, you know? It's, what? It's, it's whatever works for you, but I also... Here's what works for me, not giving you half of everything I have. And you shouldn't, and I don't... I don't but that's what the law it. requires guys to do when things don't work out. Well, uh, sometimes the woman has more than the man, you know? It's, it's That's different. rare. It's yeah. rare. And most of those women are fat not. or fugly. But, but, you know, it's different circumstances. You can't just judge your experience. I everything. already did. I don't, It has nothing to do with judging my experience. The, regardless of what my experience is, there's no benefit to a man to sign that piece of paper. You know, I think people should just, when they meet somebody... If they don't want any ties or commitment or anything like that, let that person know. But you never no, know. No, first have sex with them, and then once they start falling for you, then mm -hmm. let them know so that they won't deny you sex. That's not true. That's oh, not yeah. That, that's not how The I way I do it is I have sex with you first. So then you start getting attached to me. 
then then I'm in the driver's seat. Do you understand? Uh huh. Because once you start falling for me, now I'm in control. Why do we have to fall for each other? Why can't we just be like, hey, you're pretty cute, I'm pretty cute, you know, why don't we just... Well, because all I want to do is get laid. If I think you're a hot piece of ass, I'll have sex with you, knowing that you might fall in love with me, but then if you do, that's where I say, well, guess what? I'm not getting married. And now you're hooked and you just don't want to leave. But, Tom, you don't think women think the same way? You don't think women want a hot piece of ass either? I want them to. Oh, but are you kidding? When I meet women like that, it's like winning the lottery. I think it's fantastic. Trust me, there's women out there like that. And most yes. women, most women want commitment. Well, then you don't mess with them. No, I do mess with them. I have yes, sex with them. Like I have you sex with them, know? and then I, the minute they start demanding things, I dump their asses. Like you said, there's plenty of fishes out there in the sea. Why do you want to hurt somebody when you can find another girl? There's a lot plenty of, of fish out. in the sea. Yeah, a like lot you of, said. Lot of, why do you have you know to get them say. hooked? Why do you have to get them hooked and then dump them? Because I want to have sex. If I let on to them before they give me sex, then I'm just in it for the sex. Many of them will say no. This way, I get sex from everybody, including the ones who are likely to be looking for a relationship. Why Even they give it up to, to me. But why can't you move on to the next girl? Why do you have to have I sex? do. Then I do. Know. I have sex with her, and then after she finds out the bad news that we're not going to have a relationship or get married, then I move on to the next sucker. But, Tom, we're all human beings, we all have people get attacked. It's better to just come up front and be honest. Like, look, No, it's I'm better not- for you, but it's not better for me because I want to get laid. Then you just say, hey, you know what? I find you very attractive. No, no, because then women say, oh, no, I'm not having sex unless there's a relationship. So I just don't bring the subject up. I have sex with them. And then later up, when, uh, later on, when I know what's going to happen actually happens, then I say, look, sweetheart, there's no relationship happening here, and I never promised you anything. I w- now they're left holding the bag. If, if they want to see me, they have to see me on my turn. Okay, but if you mess with these girls without letting them know what's up before you do it, then you're going to be messing around with psycho chicks that are not going to, like... Yeah, they're the best in bed, the psycho chicks. Are you kidding me? Yeah, exactly. Why go through all that trouble when you can just be honest and be like, what? But but here's the thing. If if the psycho chicks, they say, well, that's screw you. I'm going to dump your ass. It's like, great, I already got what I wanted. You rather, you rather wouldn't deal with her anyway. Anyways, you know, she's crazy. The so crazy to- ones are, the, darling, I hate to, to disillusion you. The crazy ones are the best in the sack. Well, that's not true. Everybody oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> They're better than you are. I Hey, I have no complaints, so you can't really say anything. Well, because what guy has got to complain? Who's going to lick a gift horse in the mouth? Who's going to what? Who's going to lick a gift horse in the mouth? Uh, what? I don't get the, the phrase is, who's going to lick a gift horse in the mouth? All right, pencils down. What does that mean to you? I don't know. I'm just saying... Everybody uses everybody, bottom line. Everybody just be up For all on. intensive purposes, they do. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm with this guy, and we're pretty open. We don't have boyfriend-girlfriend titles. We just call each other friends, and we have a good relationship. And, well, that's and, fantabulous. But yeah. you know what? There are many women out there. In fact, I'm thinking of a couple of them specifically right now. Mm-hmm. If I told them the truth, I just think they are hotter than hell, and I just want to rip their clothes off, nail them, and then drop them back in the sea. But uh, Tom, they would say absolutely not. When you meet girls, don't they already know what you're looking for? I mean, they don't all know, darling. Friend. Don't assume that every woman who meets me listens to my show. Okay, they don't. Uh, okay. Well, the ones that, I don't know, um, that's just, like I said, it, that's just my opinion. I think that's what people should do, be more straightforward and honest. I think you save yourself a whole lot of trouble, a whole lot of hurt. No, it saves, it does, no, it saves you a whole lot of trouble. No, because I could care less. I could, I could move on to the next guy. I see, I don't waste my time, okay? 
I have other I don't things. waste my time either. I have sex with you, and then later when you complain, you say you want more, I say you're not getting it. Well... Oh, well, who cares? No time wasted. I got laid, and then if you don't like it and you threaten to leave me, I say, please leave. Go. I'm tired of you anyway. I already have what I wanted. But that's not every woman. I'm not that way. I, this show's not about you. It's about but, hundreds of millions of people, darling. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying men need to make up their own decisions. I know there's right. a lot of and men. And their decision should be don't get married. I know there's a lot of men out there that tells girls that they want to have, they want them to have their kids and all this stuff, just like, you know. They're fools. Thing. Or, they're, or they're lying, one or the other. Yeah. And you know what I was wanted to tell you about um, the single mom issue? What? I know a lot of girls who get pregnant while they're on birth control. Fine. So, I mean, it's, it, and you know what, the children are not to blame because they're like, they're innocent, you know. It's They're like, not my problem. Yeah. If you but, get knocked up and when I have sex with you, just call my lawyer and tell him how much I owe, and that's it. I'm out. Okay, but it's still, it's still you have to take care of it financially. I, I will do whatever I'm legally required to do, but I won't do any more than that. I will not be uh, taking the kid every other weekend, so you can go on a date. I will not be uh, taking the kid on vacation. I will not be uh, coming over. Not going to happen. Not every woman wants to party. Some women You're are meant on to be your mothers. own. You're on your own. Some women are meant to be mothers. They're not all party girls and want to go out. When, and... when did I say that? Well, you just said that you were going to watch the kids while she went out. Whichever. You might want to go on a date. You don't have to be partying. Everybody who goes on a date is not having a wild party. Well, I'm just the saying... point is, the point I'm making is. If you decide to have a child without my consent, I will not help you in any way I'm not required to. Tom, do you have children? No. No. That's, well, By design, darling. Yeah, but you know what? People that do, they, they love it, you know? I mean, I personally no, everybody doesn't. don't have any kids. Everybody doesn't love it. I know. Well, just like it's not meant You just said people love it. You know the uh, advice columnist Ann Landers? Probably not. I don't have no idea. Anyway, there was, an ad there was an advice columnist for many years named Ann Landers, a very conservative woman with a conservative column, and she asked people, if you could do it over again, would you have your kids again? You know what percentage said no? 70%. 70. Seven zero. Well, said crazy. they would not do it again. Very sad because the world would be less populated and probably you and I wouldn't be here today. That's great. I'll tell today. you what. Yeah, the world being less populated, I'm sure there's a few people right now on the 405 freeway who would love the world to be less populated. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You're absolutely right. Getting married is beyond nuts. I mean, anyone who decides to get married is crazy. I've been there, done that. There is no fun in it. You know, there's so much fun before you get married, but after you get married, like, the fun is over. It's done. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Dallas, with our friends at Live 105.3. one 800 800 tom Wide open telephones on this Flash Friday. Let's say hello here to Brenda. Brenda, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, hi. It's funny that I get you now that I have to do something, but I really just want to make a comment, and I really don't want to argue with you. I just, I can't understand how people call there... And um, you do nothing but belittle them. And they sit there and they allow you to sit and belittle them and be so condescending. You make fun of their, 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 their vocabulary. I mean, why couldn't you just t tell the chick that, listen, it's not, it's not what you're saying. It's a vasectomy. Why did you have to like, continue like, to make fun of her? I don't get because that. I think it's funny you. that she thinks it's vasectomy. You know what? If you're not literate enough to call a radio program, don't call here for instruction. If you're not literate enough to call in, uh, you're exposing yourself. You know, if I were illiterate, I would not uh, do a radio program. I certainly would not wait to be corrected by others. No, but she doesn't know she's wrong. That's my point. Well, if she's that she stupid, if she's that stupid, she shouldn't be calling a radio program. 
Yeah, she doesn't know that she's that stupid. She doesn't know how stupid she is, so uh, she needs me to tell her how stupid she is, right? You made fun of her. But you see, here's the thing. You, you, you talk about me belittling callers. Then when a caller calls in and mispronounces a word because she's illiterate, then you want me to correct her. I think it's better to just say, listen, sweetie, you're saying it wrong. I don't want people to make fun of you. I am not so, here. No, I am not. Look, I am not here to gently correct people. I am here doing an entertaining radio program. And if someone is that illiterate and decides to dial in and hold the nation hostage with their telephone call, they get what they paid for. I mean, this doesn't even go to her. I mean, I called before, even her, prior to her conversation with you, I was calling in regard to the other girl that you were, like, totally dissecting, and she sit back and she just lets you, and, and it's not even just her, it's women, it's men, you do the same thing to the men, like, you totally sit there and, uh, make, they, they allow you to make a dick out of them. I don't get it. Well, because uh, that's my job, that's my stock and trade. <laughs> And it keeps you listening, too. <laughs> That's the whole point, isn't it? If people like to hear, it's like that car crash. You got to turn your neck. You got a rubber neck. It's that people like to hear other people being made fun of. So you continue to do it. My job is to get the most number of people listening that I could possibly get. The Tom Likas Show.